Good morning, my lovely Pisces. How are you doing this lovely morning? Pisces, happy birthday to all my Pisces, February the 20th. If it's your birthday, you know, Pisces season, happy birthday to you. And thank you for the many wishes that I received from you and the cross watchers. I also want to say thank you, Lord, for allowing me to be here this morning with you all. Um, Pisces, um, I talked to y'all and I said that we was going to come in a time that something was going to be revealed to us and it would be good or it could go both ways, good or bad. And um, that's why I tell y'all, y'all got to live your life to the fullest because you never know. What can happen? So, Pisces, um, thank you for all the prayers for my sister. Thank you for the many. Um, I just want y'all to all know that whatever you're going through, keep your faith. Keep your faith. Get into what's important to you. So, for all those, thank you for all the love you send me and for all of those who go to my website. <clears throat> it's linked to my YouTube and my TikTok and my online store. If anybody goes on there and want to purchase anything today, your orders will be going out. This is the Black Magic Spellbreaker candle. This is um has um mirrors in the inside. And that is to break anything and all things that is not for you. Anything and all things that is not for you. This energy, or whether you think that things is not moving for you, you feel like, you know, <clears throat> just your life, period. Like whatever you think that it that you may think it's not for you and it's there. Okay, what people may do to you or just feel like you just can't get out of a situation. The Abundant Prosperity Healing Girl Fertility and Nature Candle is the candle for everything that you want in your life. And everything, all the earth things, all which the healing process. Um, it's a journey you go through, okay? You you gotta heal for you to grow. Um and it's a long journey, you know, but that candle is for everything that you want within you, for you, okay? Um, I also have the um, love yourself candle. This, you, you can't love nobody until you deal with yourself um, and learn to let go of anything that you feel like you are tied to. That you feel like it's the hardest thing for you to do. That's what you gotta do. You that's the part that you need to do. Work on that. Okay. Um, the justice candle is for everything and anything that you are fighting for or seeking the truth or seeking balance in your life. Um, whatever case we go through, Pisces, we need to have some type of balance in our life. We need to stand in front of the judge and speak without acting like we or Making these faces and these, you know, because it shows everything about you, your character, your personality, you know, you conduct your business, you need to conduct it where you are not, you can speak and not overreact on the matter. And I promise you that you will win. That's a promise. All right. Um, wrong is wrong, Pisces. You understand? Wrong is wrong. So let's let's start this reading. Pisces, please keep me in your prayers. Keep me in your prayers, please. Um I, I, I know that God has my back and I know that He's my rock. Um I don't backslide when it comes to God, and I just want you all to Keep me in your prayers. 
Thank you, my lovely Pisces. If you go in there, you will see oils. You will see um, walnut bath. You will see um, red brick dust. You will see um, sage and palo santo. You will see different stones and jewelry. Okay, evil eye bracelets, all of that. I make my evil eye bracelets. You dealing? You, it's not like you just buying somebody's products. It's like you dealing with that energy. My energy is very spiritual and a very spiritual high level. And I'm not just telling you to sell my product. I'm telling you who I am and what I'm about. You know, that's just the way it is. Um, I come a long way. This is a spiritual detox salt bath, and it's good to detox yourself. It's important that you detox that spiritual in you to really look into yourself because it's about self work. It's not about a matter, it's not about a thing, you know, um, not a relationship or situation. It's about you and what relationship you got with yourself and how much you respect and honor and love yourself. And when you can face all of the things that about you that you don't like, about you that you can fix and that you can change, your life will change. I also have herbs in a bag. All right, Pisces, I'm going to get to my reading. Thank you for allowing me to share this. Please keep me in prayers. Please. My birthday, it was... um. A celebration of my birth, birth, and seeing everything flash before my eyes, my sister, families come together at times when everything in your life is falling apart. Death comes to you to bring families to a gathering, but I believe, Pisces, that um, I'm not phony, you know what I mean? I am who I am, I'm sorry. I'm not a cold person, but um, it shouldn't take a death or somebody being in a hospital where they fight for their life um, and you see them with tubes all over them to bring you together. People, families should come together um, for an event, not for a death. And that's the part I don't understand. So, um, you know, my sister's in the bed, laying in the bed with all kinds of tubes on in the hospital. And um, no, she did not pass away. She's fighting for her life. But um, I'm like the last one walking in when they closed the doors and said you couldn't go back and see her in the ICU unit. But I told them, I, I, I drove two hours away. Please let me see my sister. And when I got up there... Um, they, everyone was crying and screaming, but I got to be real with y'all. I've not spoken to my sister or had any dealings with my sister in years, and not, be, not because I didn't love her, but because of the situation um, where she lived. And um, I just didn't felt like I wanted to be around that that kind of, them, them people that she was with. Um, also family members. Um, so uh, not to disrespect where she was living, I didn't go. Uh, but to say that is to say that now I'm seeing my sister in her deathbed. And it's, it's sad. It's really sad. But I got to keep it real. I, I can't cry um, now seeing her like that when I know that um, I had many opportunities to pick up the phone and talk to her or go, you know, take her out, whatever. I had many opportunities and I didn't do it because of me saying I didn't want to go to where she was living. Um, so to say that, I shouldn't have made that um, the part of me not seeing her or talking to her, having some type of relationship with her. Um, and now I go see her in the hospital um, fighting for her life. And so I, I just feel like why not celebrate um, like life? Um, Every day to the fullest. And don't let no one. This is a lesson to me that says no matter what situation that how I feel and how I see things, I may not like it. I may not like the situation. 
but it should never stop me from seeing someone that I love. Okay, and that's that's what I'm trying to say here. So um, thank you for allowing me to share that with you all. I, I, I can't even explain what I'm what I'm feeling. But like God said, um, you didn't. I got to be real with the situation. I got to face it. I got to face myself. Myself. For. It, it's, it's. I'm seeing her now. And it's not the way I wanted to. See her. But I had the opportunity to see her. And because of me. My ego. Is. It's that part. All right? All right, Pisces. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Um... Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. So, somebody may feel like Maybe you, somebody feel like they threatened, they intimidated. Somebody feel like they, I don't know, like they threatened by you or you threatened by them or they may feel like you intimidate them or they intimidate you or, you know, like you don't want to be bothered, okay? Um, then it's changes. Somebody's moving. Somebody's leaving. Um... I just feel like Pisces, I don't know, I just feel like Pisces don't, it's not showing no, <clears throat> like, you're not bothered by it. They don't intimidate you, all right? You're not threatened by them, all right? But if something is moving, packing, leaving, um, moving to a place, um, moving for a job, whatever it is, a child... And a man that somebody looking at this movement, moving on. I don't know, it's a child here that it's a child with this person. I, 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 I feel like maybe at one time you let this person intimidate you when it came to a child or to run your life or just or like somebody may threaten you. Or um, you better not leave and they better not see you with somebody, this and that, that and this. <clears throat> Run your life. But this person is looking at you moving forward, leaving something behind. Okay? Oh. All right, let's see. Tell me more, spirits. Tell me more. Somebody, it's, it's like this child is somebody's star. Like the apple of their eyes. This child must live a beautiful life or like, you know, have hopes, dreams. They got their own story to set, to tell. You got the three of wands. And the Ten of Cups. The Three of One is sitting at your job, look, working in front of a computer, all this mail, newspaper, looking. Um, the Three of Wands is um, like you see it, like you, you may think it's at a distance for you, but it's not. Right? It's like you're searching for something here. You're not like looking up, I don't know, maybe a job. Um, or 
I don't know if you're dating online or you communicate, but it's something here that you're looking for. Or you may be in front of a computer at work or... But thinking about other things, like, you, <clears throat> you know, Pisces... <coughs> Pisces, you know what's crazy? We can be at work, but our mind can be where we want to be, like, with the situation. Like, you know, like, Pisces, your mind wonders. You can be working, but you're thinking about this Ten of Cups. All right. You might be working, but there's somebody on your mind. It's something here with the Ten of Cups, the happy family, but it's a, it's a baby. I keep seeing a baby. All right. Everybody's toasting to this baby. But the thing about it is, Pisces, with this Ten of Cups, the baby is over here with, I don't know, somebody got two cats or two dogs or something. A cat and a dog, I don't know, but everybody seems to be celebrating. But it's a baby on the side. Look at the rainbow. Like hoping for a baby, like somebody's having a baby. Like this is going to be a completion with a baby. Is it somebody feels like your child is not a part of um, of a celebration? Is it somebody that has a child that they feel like your child is not a part of others? Like you feel like your child is not a part of a celebration or a part of this person, or you feel like this person ain't thinking about your child or your child may feel like they don't they don't fit into this family or this person's whatever it is. The Ace of Cup, a lot of love with this man. It's the beginning, but whatever it is, Pisces, I felt like I don't know if it was a child, like somebody felt like that somebody didn't care for the child or they was moving on, celebrating their life, but not worrying about a, a child. I don't know if it's a death of a child um, or a child that their family has broken up and moved on and they feel like they're not the centerpiece or the, like somebody, like you may feel like somebody's not caring for this child or like you, like Pisces. You may feel like someone here, but it's a baby, and, and it's like a celebration, but it's celebrating over there, but it's it's this rainbow of hoping for a child and a family, but I don't see the child yet in this family. I feel like it's a child, but not in this family, like it's a one and of a child. I see kids, but not this baby yet, so I don't know. Nobody's looking at this baby. Mm. I don't know. Pisces, these cars are every which way. I don't know what's going on today, but <sighs> tell me about this ace of cup. The five of swords, it's like somebody's moving away, moving. And whatever it is, like it's a man and a woman here, but they don't care what people think about them. Somebody's offering love, but it seems like there's people that don't, it's like they you're there with this person, but there's, I don't know if there's other it looks like women fighting for this guy, for one guy. Like, I don't know if you work around a lot of a lot of men or a lot of women or you have somebody that you feel like there's too many people in the picture that you know, like in this petty arguments is not like a big old major argument, but it's like
petty argument that goes on. I don't know why it seats. Tell me more. Tell me more about this ten of cups. Tell me more. The page of wands. Get ready to put on your sneakers. Get ready to skate. Tying up your sneakers. The page of one is something that is being created. The start of something. Getting ready for it. But looking at the page of wands, it's like um, looking at this person and then looking at the skates. It's like they're fastening themselves to do something, but it's like they're moving towards it. It's like moving. It's like a new path on wheels, skates, trying something new, developing something new. I feel like this is about a change maybe in a career, uh, a family moving. It's like something is moving on in this family. Somebody, I don't know if somebody younger than you. A page is a, a news. It, news. News is traveling your way. Um, news. Um, something new is coming in your life. Someone young. Younger than you. Built in something. With the Ace of Cups, you got the King of Swords. Cutting. Hmm. Cutting something. Cut a cut a ribbon for something here. Oh, cutting hair. <gasps> Cutting hair. Cutting hair at getting a haircut. Somebody working a beautician. Somebody's a hair salon. Somebody's getting a haircut. Somebody need to cut something. Somebody, maybe somebody's cutting it, their hair. But this person is so smooth. But this person is like, I don't know, like got a lot of love, but something's being cut off here. Something is going to be cut off. This ace of cups, somebody's cutting some off Pisces. Mm, they looking at you. Somebody's cutting somebody off. For this new life, for this new um family. Somebody's getting cut off by this king of swords. This king of swords is in love with someone else. Somebody, I don't know if somebody's cutting somebody off for you, or but something is getting cut off. Moving on, the five of swords with this man is overprotective of this woman. Very overprotective. Um, the knight of swords saying the now. Like, do it now. I mean, like, this is the time to move. But taking their time, because this was upside down. The Knight of Swords moves fast, but this is not. This is moving, but not fast. But this person is very protected over you. The highest priest, Pisces, you hold all things in your hand. You keeping something to yourself. You're not telling nobody this about this move or something in your life that you're not discussing with everybody. It's like you keeping things to yourself. I'm, I just feel like the reason why I feel this is because somebody's getting to be thrown, like getting put out of their house. Somebody's clothes and everything is flying out the window. Somebody's throwing somebody's clothes out the window. This is a tower. Like somebody 
Like somebody, it's, a, it's an argument, but this person's protecting you. But they're not moving fast. But you're keeping this to yourself. You're not letting nobody know nothing. Because somebody, like they're getting ready to get, their stuff is going to be thrown out the window or somebody's going to have an ugly breakup. But it's something here that a lot of people need to stay out of the business. But it's a lot of stuff. It's like a group of people talking shit, but this person's very overprotected over you. And it's moving slow, and you keeping this to yourself, this move. Um, but somebody look like they're closed and everything's going out the window. <laughs> okay, Pisces. All right, I don't know what the hell's going on with that, but... That's what it said. Okay, let's move on. Tell me, Spirit. Pisces, the page, the highest priest again. That third eye is open. You forsaking all of this. Okay? Um, you seeing everything now. Like you see everything. Oh, it's a it's a birth here, but it's not part of this. But it's like you. I don't know if you see things on the internet about somebody here, but it's something moving on, and it's something young. Like you seeing everything for what it is. The two of swords making a decision here, my lord. This is a hard decision to cut someone off, but it's somebody that you're making a choice. This whoever this Gemini Libra Aquarius, they're making a big choice to cut somebody off. A big choice. Cause they 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 in love with somebody else. Like right, this person might be in love with you. And they look like they cutting somebody off. Like they making a decision that they don't they want to finish it with for I don't know, either you or them, but somebody's getting cut off. Completely cut off. Somebody drink tea. Somebody drink coffee. It's like your third eye is open. You're not playing. This shit is like, like you calling everything you see and it's happening. Pisces, somebody's getting a message through the phone. Or you, somebody's trying to reach you, but you feel like this is lost. Like, I don't know, like... Somebody's very old protector over somebody. Like, you wait on this message. But you're the, the queen of pentacles. Like, you know it's like a tower. Tower moment here. Like, somebody's getting kicked out of their house or something. I don't know. But it's like somebody has been waiting on this message. For maybe somebody that don't, they haven't heard from in a long time or whatever. Like, somebody getting kicked out. Like, you've seen it. But it's, it's like you... Everything is, is in process. Everything is moving. Somebody's moving, but it's everything is done in process. It's like you got a third eye open to see this, but this is a hard decision for you to make. And you may thought that you never was gonna hear from this person or you wasn't gonna they wasn't gonna reach out to you. But it's saying that it's like somebody feel like they missing out on an opportunity or missed out on it. And they sit there and all they can think about all the negative things that happen in their life. Okay? Like you reminisce on a lot of things that happened in your life, how this person was. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like maybe this person didn't want you to live with them. Like they want you to leave. You know what I mean? Like this person sometimes can be very difficult. Like somebody... That can be mean to you, okay? But it's like, I feel like this is somebody that you, like, get with you and then don't get with you. And then they you talk to them, but then you don't talk to them. And then you break up, then you don't, it's like somebody here that's in and out, okay? They come in, they leave fast, you know. But this time it looked like they moving real slow here. The Nine of Cups getting everything you want. You getting your shit on, Pisces. Like, you losing weight. Like, you making, you know, you eating right. You taking care of yourself. 
It's like you got everything. This is a self-made person. Somebody that has everything. Somebody looking at look at me now. Like somebody's really sh showing their body off. Like trusting different, taking care of themselves, looking real nice, sexy, looking classy. You know what I mean? Like real, real nice. Like you did some work on yourself. But Pisces, there's a decision here, and somebody, somebody here is cutting somebody off to be with you. But they're very protected over you, and it's like they don't keep, like you keeping this to yourself, and I feel like they are too. All right? But Pisces, I just feel like it's somebody that might have, that you maybe think about how things ended, how it was screwed up. But you will receive a message because things is about to change. Look at this, the Page of Cups. It's, it's all new. It's all new. It's a lot happening in your life. Pisces, if you need a reading, get it from me or someone else. Don't let no one steal your joy. Believe in yourself and know that you can make anything happen. It's your season, Pisces. I'll talk to you later. Don't forget, go outside and look at the moon. May God bless you. Bye-bye.